Hi, I'm Elsa and I'm with the product program department and I'm here to tell you and talk to you a little about the Fall Take Action program. The Fall Take Action program is a community service piece of the Girl Scout experience. Each year, the Fall Take Action program has a theme, Take Action component built in. This year's theme is Bravely Be You, which encourages you to be brave, by supporting the efforts and save the endangered pygmy three-toed sloth. There are less than a hundred left in the world and it's due to the habitat loss. So the habitat loss is their environments where they live. Taking part of our Fall Take Action program gives you the opportunity, gives you the chance to give back to community while funding your dreams and making a difference in this world. You will learn skills, you will be curious, you have behaviors that will lead you to succeed in life and you'll learn to work with others while supporting your sloths and they're so adorable. So I'd like to invite you, yesterday we had our fall digital day and we have started our take action program. So I would love to invite you to come and participate and join us. Today I have some really exciting a fun activity for you. Um, you would have received the packet and in your packet had how to make a thank you card. And like I mentioned, part of giving back to the community and community service is giving back. So what are the thank you card? We have so many first responders, so many people helping out there and what a cute little sloth. So this is a little sloth that's in your packet and you can make it any way you want. I chose a red background. Um, you can have these lines to help you write in there or not. Um, and of course I gave it some cute little heart cheat cheeks as well. So that's my cute little sloth. I'm going to write this up for somebody special and give it to them and thank them for doing what they're doing for us in our community. So today I am so excited because we're going to actually work on how to paint a sloth. And when we're painting this sloth, um, I want you to think about what you're going to do with your rock. So I'm actually going to show you a finished product. We're going to be making this, this sloth. It's really easy to make and we're going to go over the steps. And because I'm working with paint, you might be working with Sharpies or you might be doing it with a piece of paper. But if you're using the paint, you're going to want it to dry in between. So watch and learn and have fun with me. I'm excited to show you about our sloth and I'm excited for you to learn more about our Take Action program and be involved this year. So the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to find some some rocks. I found these outside um, in my yard and I had some when I took a walk that I found along my walkway. So you're going to find a rock and you want to make sure that you wash it and then let it dry. And the rock can be as big or as small as you want to, for it to be. So you're going to need a rock for this um, project and then you can either use um, so if you have some paints I have some brown paints you can get these at the dollar store um, or at Walmart um, I have some black paint and then I have some white paint that I'm going to be using today if you decide that you don't want your colors to fade there is something called Mod Podge and you will use Mod Podge as well to seal it at the very end but that's after everything is dried and we're going to go over all all the steps um, for you today. All right, so the very first step that we're gonna do today is I've got my rock and it's already been cleaned and I have one that's a little sharp, you can see. It's, so I'm not gonna use this side, I'm gonna use a side that is flat. Um, so I'm gonna take my flat side and I have an assortment of brushes here and I'm gonna choose a brush. I'm gonna go with something not too big. So I think I'm gonna use this one here um, and I'm gonna um, get my brown paint. So I'm gonna open my paint. And if you're doing this, you can start with me. Like I said, you're gonna want to uh, make sure that you let it dry. Now, if you don't have a rock and you don't have paint, it's okay. I, I want you to be able to do it on a piece of paper and you can do it with markers or Sharpies. And I have some markers and Sharpies here as well too. So if you do not have um, a rock or you don't have paint, you can use markers and part and, and or Sharpies and on a plain piece of paper, you can do a lot of what we're doing today. So I don't, you wanna, don't wanna put too much. I'm gonna squirt, I'm gonna put this back so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna squirt just a, a little bit in there. 
There we go. I might have done a little bit too much. You just want to score it a little bit. And what you're going to do is you're just going to paint it. I think painting is so relaxing. Now, what you might want to do as well is you would want to piece, put a piece of paper or something on your table. As you can see, this is an old table, so I'm okay if I get some paint on it. Um, but if you're working on a table, you want to put maybe a piece of newspaper or just a paint piece of paper, a grocery bag, so it, so it doesn't get all dirty. And then see, so you're going to just paint your your rock try to get all the edges around it I find painting is so relaxing if you have any questions please make sure that you add them to the chat and I'll be answering those for you um, throughout this presentation so again if you have any questions you can um, paint you can ask in the chat in the chat and it's good if you have a um, a wipey because if you make a mistake you can always wipe it off with a little wipey or a little paper towel uh, paint is forgivable or you can always paint over it so as you can see i painted my rock um i'm gonna so i'm gonna scoot this rock over because i actually have a rock that i painted ahead of time uh, for this project and what i did is i painted it on both sides so i did it ahead of time and you can see i maybe forgot a spot and that's okay it doesn't have to be perfect um, so what i did is i painted it ahead of time and it's ready for me to start painting the face and remember i showed you my picture earlier so it looks something like this right so i'm going to leave that here so we can kind of look at that oops Let's see if it'll stay. All right, so there's my face. You can kind of see my face there. So I have my rock here and I'm gonna need the white this time, but because I'm gonna be using and drying my face and make it a little bit more detailed, I'm first gonna start with a, uh, so I'm gonna take my lid off and because I want to be able to control, to be able to see how much paint, because you only want to get a little paint. And for this one, I'm actually going to use a smaller brush because I want to get my lines. Now, what you could do is you can um, get a pencil if you want and trace it out, the face out, um, or you can do what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you here. So this is a good way to remember it. Um, so you're going to do a half a moon. I'm going to do it so it shows you so you want to go a half a moon so or half a circle and then you're going to close up that circle and i can probably make my circle a little bit bigger um and then i'm going to fill it in and remember nothing needs to be perfect you make it what how you want it how you want it to look because we want it to reflect your character and and your personality all right, so, so we're just painting it. Um, and the next part is working on the top part. So if you can see right here on the top part, see the first part is a half a circle, right? And then up on top is, is the, the start of a heart or two little bumps, okay? So I am actually gonna make a heart, start making my heart. So again, I just dabbed it in there, just barely touched it in there. You can see there's just a little bit of paint. And so I'm gonna start on this side here and I'm gonna start right here in the middle, kind of make my line and just kind of make like a heart, like this, like a little bump there. See how I did that? So then again, I'm just gonna get a little bit of brush my paint on there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so, Remember, we wanna leave a little bit of brown spots so that we can put the eyes on there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and cl close that up like that. And we're gonna paint in that little part there. So I'm gonna paint that little section there now where I did the hearts. I used white paint. Um, but you can make yourself any color you want. So if you don't have white or brown, be creative. Your, your sloth can be colorful. It doesn't have to be like mine. Like I said, I want you to use your personality. Okay, so I have that now. So what I'm going to do is to start dividing the eyes, I'm going to kind of make it a little sloop and a little arch on both sides. And then I'm going to color that in between that and the white as well. 
And see what we just did? See what we just did? And you can see my heart is not perfect and that's okay. My face isn't perfect, but look at we've created two little eyes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dab again my paint with a little bit of white and I'm just gonna make a little dot right there because I'm gonna add black to it later to make it stand out. All right, and there it is, see? Perfect, now we need to let this dry because of course if I start putting adding more to it, it won't, um, it'll smear, so you need to let it dry. So I'm gonna put this with my other rock that I just did and I have one already ready for you. So I have this rock here um, that I did as well. And you can see it looks fairly similar to the one we just did. Um, so what is missing now? Well, it looks like we need to color its eyes, give it a nose, and maybe a mouth. Now on my one that I did earlier, I gave it a smiley face, right? Um, so it doesn't have to be a smiley face, it can be a crazy face. Um, and with this part, we can either use paint or we can use a Sharpie. So because it's, it's a smaller area, I'm actually gonna use a Sharpie. So I got my Sharpie here, right? So what I'm gonna do is in the little eyes, I'm gonna give it a little dot. So just to give it a little dark circle. Can you see my little circle? Yep. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Give it a little circle on each side. So it's got its eyes, yay. Now I'm gonna give it its nose. So I'm gonna make a circle and see it's not getting in really too dark in there. And I might go back with my uh, black paint and paint over it, but I'm gonna first do it with my Sharpie. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make it a face. I'm gonna make the face different than I did the last one. So I'm gonna make it a zigzaggy face because this is my silly sloth. He's not sad, it's just silly. He's making a silly face. He can be sticking his tongue out. So I'm actually gonna put my, um, my Sharpie away. I'm gonna put my lid back on my white paint because I don't want it to dry up. And I'm gonna actually gonna grab my black paint okay I hope you're following me and what I did is I grabbed my smallest let me see if I can find it I grabbed my smallest brush I have so this is my smallest brush I have and remember earlier what I did I took the lid off I'm gonna take the lid off very carefully because I don't need a lot of paint um, and and in reality you could actually probably just even dip it on the on the on the lid or just dip your brush inside the paint like this and so I've got a little bit of paint there now so I'm gonna make my eyes and my nose brighter so I already have it traced out so I'm gonna color it in and make it bigger and brighter so it's nice and bright see how my nose got bigger and the same thing with my eyes I'm gonna make them a little darker all right and then the same thing with my mouth because my other sloth has a nice dark black mouth and I want this one to show its little character in it because it's a silly one. So I am going to give it a silly face. That is my silly sloth. Look at that. That is so great. See how easy that was? It's something that you can do at home. Like I said, you can find rocks in your garden, um, out in your neighborhood. If you take a walk with your parents, um, just make sure you go home and wash them. What I am challenging you now to do is I am challenging you to um, write something inspiring in the back. And so what I wrote, and of course this is showing backwards on your screen, but it says hang in there. So I want you to write something positive, something caring, but I also want you to write hashtag GS loss rocks because if you end up giving this to somebody and they put that on our Instagram or you put this on our Instagram and upload your picture we want to see your pictures of your rocks so go to our GS NorCal Instagram page and if you put hashtag GS sloth rocks we'll be able to see what you did also if you decide that you want to give this rock to somebody um, we'll be able to find it so I hope you learned something today um, we got the sloth, 
You can use anything. I want to show you also. You can use like, I had a little jar. So if you have a spaghetti jar, you can use a little jar. And I have little treats. I have some of our fall take action little treats in here. Thank you so much for spending this afternoon with me. I hope you learned something about our take action program. I hope you get lots of great information and learn about our sloths and be able to help us to be able to create a better habitat for them. Again, thank you and have a wonderful day.